Hi guys, uh, I wanted to share this with you. Uh, this is one of those uh, incredibly cheap um, gas torches that I'm sure you've seen advertised. Uh, it's got to be a copy of the uh, American uh, Smith's little torch. I bought this one uh, from Amazon in the UK, March 2024, and it cost me £17.77. Um, and to put that in perspective, I think that's, oh, that's about $22 uh, US at this time. Uh, put it in perspective, the American made version, I say the original version I assume, cost 14 and a half times more than this. So I could buy 14 and a half um, uh, of these for the cost of one of the original American versions. Now, um, you'll see from the reviews that they get that it's not without some minor issues and they are minor issues and that's what this video is about is to tell you look uh, you see these things have got a one star review and as, as somebody bleating I know it's I've, I've been ripped off I've wasted my money it's no good it it leaks the hose ends fittings are wrong etc um, and so long as you know about that when you buy it um, you you can deal with these little issues um, first issue for people seems to be when it arrives uh, in the UK it arrives with uh, the American uh, hose connector I believe that this is a uh, 5 sixteenths type B uh, coupling that's used in America for me that's fine uh, to work with my oxygen concentrator as it I guess the concentrator was made in America and uh, that's, that's a perfect uh, hose size but uh, in the UK, the standard gas fitting, um, uh, Caligas, acetylene, etc., is a 3 8 inch, um, uh, in this case, left hand thread for the fuel gas. Um, so a, th a 3 8 uh, inch fitting. And if you're not familiar with these, these little marks around the outer edge of the knot, uh, they indicate that it's a left-hand thread and in the UK certainly all fuel gases have uh, a left-hand thread so as you can't connect um, uh, uh, or, or misconnect um, something to an acetylene um, or propane uh, cylinder by mistake it's you'll never screw it on um, so and so when it when it arrives, I've, I've, I've dealt with it now. When it arrives, it comes with the American size hose end fitting, and in the UK we use this um, three eight left hand thread, three eighths of an inch left hand thread. Um, what I did to um, convert it from this, I couldn't buy a hose end fitting with. Uh, a very narrow hose barb. Uh, the hose barb on the original fitting is 3.8 millimeter diameter. So this is a very small tube and the hose barb has to have uh, obviously the right connection to fit onto your cylinder but it's got to have the right size tube to go into the flexible hose. So what I did was I took the fitting out, I bought a new uh, uh, UK size hose adapter and I've simply brazed the end of the original hose adapter uh, onto the end of the new one and I don't know if it's in focus and clear but what I did was uh, just filed a flat on there cut the original hose barb off the um, uh, the 3 8 fitting and simply Brazed, uh, brazed those two together and then I, I, using nylon whipping line I've whipped the, uh, the joint. Anyway, um, I'll show you some stills there. I'm so impressed with the, the benefits of this little torch that I tell you quite truthfully within 
two minutes of using this torch in a, in a real application, I went out, and, well, I came up and ordered a second one because I thought if I, anything happens to this, if I damage it in any way, I'm not going to be without one. I'll buy one whilst I know I can buy them. Um, I say, uh, incredibly cheap. Um, and uh, this, and you know, you say, well, why, why did you buy a torch? Um, this is the sort of thing I'm making. Uh, I'm just a hobby jeweler. Um, uh, I'll make this fun for the, uh, the joy of designing and making things like this. And um, whilst it's not particularly fine work, um, I've been able to get in and braise these joints, um, side by, sorry, silver solder these joints, um, uh, side by side, with no, no problem at all, no difficulty at all. I will make another video and um, I'll, I'll show you a comparison between um, uh, my Sievert um, jeweler's torch that's with um, a, uh, a needle nozzle and I'll show you comparing it with this and um, uh, also give you some other tips hopefully that uh, might help you. So if you've bought one of these and you can't use it because it's got the wrong hose uh, fittings on it, well find yourself a plumber or a gas fitter, tell him what you want and he should be able to deal with it for you easily. The other issue I had um, and people have is where the nozzle fits into the body of the torch um, it's as if they've missed out uh, one of the machining processes the uh, inner edge of the hole was just the tube was cut flat so this inner edge uh, just a sharp edge and didn't seal very well onto the olive so what I did, um, I, uh, with a, a drill, I, I drilled a countersunk edge to give me a chamfered shoulder or a chamfered uh, edge in that tube so that the, uh, it better suits the, the angle of the olive. Um, and what I did, I'd got a drill that it had, I, I must have missharpened it as the angle was 50 degrees so that the drill was uh, a much sharper angle than normal but in, in my case that, that helped me there. And I drilled uh, the, that little face very gently, I drilled it holding the body of the torch up because what you don't want are the drill shavings to actually fall down and get, get involved with any small orifices in there. Uh, so I drilled it like that and now I've got a nice uh, face uh, that, that gives a good seat onto uh, the, uh, the, the olive that's on the nozzle. Um, when you tighten it up, hold the, uh, the tube there with a pair of grips and do the, do the knot up. Give, Give it a bit of a, a squeeze to shape the olive um, and then uh, you'll have no more trouble. The, um, torch comes with five nozzles. Um, I'm using one in particular and I'll tell you more about that in, a, in another video because I've, I've made a little change to that. But if you've got one of these um, and you're not using it for any reason, the problems are easy to deal with. Uh, if you're thinking about buying one, I would say get one. Um, I'm using it with Calagas, uh, that's propane, and um, an oxygen concentrator. And uh, it, it'll run with acetylene. I haven't used it with acetylene, but they say it'll, it'll run with acetylene or any number of fuel gases. Um, so, I uh, say, so, uh, I'm totally smitten with this torch and I'm, uh, uh, it's bec already become my favourite torch and I've got three or four, I've got uh, uh, oxy, uh, acetylene torch etc. But this is so lightweight, so powerful, 
I'm over the moon with it. Anyway, I hope that helps some of you. Um, thanks for looking in. And if you want to see the next video, um, which I say will be a comparison of uh, uh, my two torches that are two small torches at least, um, if, if you subscribe, then you'll be sure of getting it. Okay, thanks for looking, guys. Bye-bye.